I think Cropnex, where people, a lot of people will know now as the Singapore's largest real estate company, and we have got a lot of very well trained agents, and we carry the service you trust as our tagline. Always think that what we have to do as salespeople is to deliver and trust. That is paramount. That's true. I think I feel so blessed. Honestly, so blessed. Sometimes I felt that the Almighty has given me that that little extra energy, direction, love, and passion. I must say that. It is not about me. Why I say that is simply is because in the last 20 over years being in the business, we have been guided to outperform the previous year. There has never been a year we in terms of our transactions or our profit been lower than the year before. And we're talking about huge number of crises. Crises from cooling measures to layman crisis, Asian financial crisis, SARS and now COVID and all other things. Good good. Because we understand the business well. Because we realize, and I always used to say this, we are in a good evergreen business. Why I say that? You like or you don't like, economy can be at whatever situation. But if you intend to get married, people still need to get married. Do they need a roof over their head? And we are there to serve them the right property. Unfortunately, how many marriages even last sometimes? And they cannot be emotional about it. We will solve as professionally, as pain-free, so that they can move on on their life. We will be there to do that. And for every crisis that people got retrenched, we will be there to guide them. If property is their only asset, how they can reorganize downsides. And if every crisis, when developers give sensitive pricing and prices tumble, it provides an opportunity for those people who have the money, is the right time to go in and buy. So, real estate is so broad, such that there are many stakeholders and players who see the opportunities. Our job is to provide that opportunity to the wide spectrum of people who need it. And that's why we have done well. And I must also say, it is never about me as the one person who have achieved all. I mean, the honest truth and the fact here is this, we only achieved so much of success because we had aligned with a lot of good people supporting me I think I have a huge number from my CEO, my CEO, my executive director. I mean, I can name a huge number of group of people. So as a team, we were so clear and focused in one thing, about doing the right thing. And that's where we have achieved some small success along the way. I think even today, the company runs by a strict set of core values. I think that's very important. And when we talk about core ideology can sound relatively extra. What is core ideology? Why do we exist? What is the objective? And that forms core ideology. And as far as myself is concerned, why do I say that we have got a good number of good people with us? Because they are all guided by a similar core values. And as far as the company is concerned, I have put it in a very short in terms of acronym is CARE, C-A-R-E. The C stands for continuous improvement in everything we do. That is ultimate. Because I cannot sit in the laurels to say Propnex is number one and therefore we are the best. Listen to me. And the minute I start to have such a thinking and attitude, we are going to slide down. So it's continuous improvement. Then the A stands for autonomy and entrepreneurship. That means not only as a management, the salespeople and the leaders, we all want to allow people to be autonomous. And that's important. Ah, respect and concern at every level from the receptionist to my senior partners and that's key concern and importance and finally will be e ethical conduct of the business honesty integrity so if we are not guided by a core values because you know we have got partners of different race different faith and it's all all right but to run a business we must be guided and these are something that we hold it very close to our heart Yes, we fully agree. Very important values.
I think one of the key things here is, is I mean, with all honesty, what I've built over time in terms of wealth, in terms of assets, it's very comfortable. Do I still need to work hard if I choose not to? I can. But something that motivates me because I hold this philosophy. And I've also mentioned this on many public forums. 3,000 people, 4,000 people, speaking to my own people. The day when the company fails to add value is the day the people should leave elsewhere for the sake of their loved one. The day when the company fails to add value to the people is the day the people should leave elsewhere for the sake of their loved ones. With such a philosophy, it only motivates me to come to the office every singular day to say, what further value add. Therefore, I don't see problem as a problem and any of these problems are challenges that we as a management and as a CEO, it's my duty to resolve. And that really keeps me excited every day to come to work.